You're seeing a live view of Soyuz MS-13, currently still docked to the Russian, Russian Poisk module, but not for long. Good evening and welcome back to the International Space Station Flight Control Room, where the team is preparing for the undocking of this Soyuz and the three Expedition 61 crew members inside of it. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. We have separation. And as you can see, Soyuz MS-13 moving away from the space station now. And docking taking place at 11.50 p.m. Central Time while the uh, space station and Soyuz were orbiting 264 miles above uh, Mongolia. View here from the uh, Soyuz as it moves away. On the docking interface. Yes, it's... Um, all the Expedition 61 crew officially on its way home now. Again, uh, undocking took place at 11.50 p.m. Central Time. We copy. The crew members inside didn't all arrive at the space station at the same time, so the lengths of their stay vary. Luka Parmitano and Alexander Skortsov arrived in the Soyuz that they're now taking home on July 20th and have been at the space station for 201 days. Christina Cook, on the other hand, Arrived on March 14th with Nick Haig and Alexei Ovchinin, but stayed behind when they returned to Earth in October. She's called the International Space Station home for the past 328 days, longer than any other woman has ever lived in space. The view of the crew. Uh, view from uh, the Soyuz as it moves away from the space station here. Again, undocking occurred at 11.50 p.m. Central from the space station's Poisk module. And this view, of course, from the International Space Station cameras. Great view of the Soyuz as it backs away. And please uh, monitor the rest of the operation and uh, maneuver. Coming up, we'll have the first of the two separation burns that the Soyuz will be performing, an eight-second jet firing, taking place about three minutes after undocking. Thirty seconds to activation. Beautiful. Yes, a second. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. We have the power thruster activation. This is that first separation burn. Again, the Soyuz jets will fire for about eight seconds to ease it further away from the space station at just over a mile per hour. The maneuver has started. And the team here on the ground is reporting a good separation burn. Soyuz MS-13 is now moving away from the space station at a rate of about 1.2 miles per hour. In 40 seconds now. The next uh, separation burn of, of the two will be coming about a little over five minutes after the, uh, the undocking. That one will last 15 seconds and speed the spacecraft up by three and a half miles per hour. Standing by. We are in attitude. Okay, so everything is nominal. At 4.20, we're standing by for the pool, and you are getting the TV image? Yes, we are. Yes, yes, Roboto. Thruster activated. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Rust deactivated, everything nominal. The burns are complete. And we have the line for the cycle end and accelerometer. That second separation burn took place just uh, as expected. Another good one. Uh, that one lasted 15 seconds and sped the space station up by three and a half miles per hour. Still not moving too fast, but that'll certainly be uh, changing coming up later on the Soyuz's journey. That uh, with those two burns, uh, the Soyuz should be on its way to a safe distance for the deorbit burn that will eventually drop it back into the Earth's atmosphere at uh, 2.18 a.m and put uh, the crew on a return course for Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan landing at 3.12 a.m. Central Time. Infrared uh, 